you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and um, I'm not too animated at the moment, but my entire staff is looking forward to next week, March 22nd, Taste of Metro South. I don't know what year it is, but I have Athena Lavoie to talk about it with me. I, I have everybody, I, I have a staff member whose birthday I heard. <laughs> is that day, and he asked me to work on his birthday. So it's, we know it's great. We take that as a compliment, for tell sure. Us, tell us about it. It's a different location. The one thing yes. we want to stress, you and I were talking about that, is at the Massasoit Conference Center. Correct. Okay, which is a nice place. I'm biased. I teach at Massasoit. I love Massasoit Conference Center, and it has a lot of room. There's a lot of room. Big, There's... long sidewalk to line up when people are lining Absolutely. up at the beginning. So tell us what's new and different this year. So uh, it's the 25th year of this event, so it's a big year for us, and we have returned back to the Massasoit Conference Center uh, where we held the event many years ago. Um, and so, like you said, there's, there's plenty of parking, there's lots of room, and we've got lots of returning restaurants from past years as well as some new faces. So um, it is, as always, 5.30 to 8 o'clock. It's mm -hmm. March 22nd. And we've got over 40 different restaurants and organizations that will be there serving samples of their food and drink. Um, and tickets are still available. Okay. And the best way to get the tickets is how? MetroSouthTaste.com. Separate web, MetroSouthTaste.com. Yes. It's a separate okay. website right uh, for this event. Mm -hmm. And people can pay through PayPal right through the website. Or, um, if you'd like, uh, up until the morning of the event, you can stop by the Chamber offices. That's 60 School Street in Brockton, uh, anytime 9 to 4.30, and you can pick up tickets in person as well. Um, we also will have tickets available at the door. The event does tend to send out, so I would encourage people to get their tickets ahead of time. But if you don't, then we should be selling tickets at the door as well. Now, one thing I'm proud of, I'll, I'll, I'll disclose again, I'm on the school committee for Southeastern, mm -hmm. and we have the kids, our culinary kids, yes. who are champions all by themselves, coming there. I think you have some other schools there as well. Brockton High has the, the Brass Lantern. Yeah, Brockton High will be there. Um, Southeastern will be there. Uh, Massasoit actually has a culinary program that will be there. Good. So we'll have a lot of the schools represented and, and the students that will be serving their food. And be surprised. Now, you have different things there. They're not all just restaurants. What's interesting, we'll talk about the nonprofits in a minute, sure. but you have a lot of the nursing homes, the care facilities that have kitchens and have food services and the hospitals a part of this. That, yes. That's very different and unique, I think, because I've gone to other festivals in other towns, and that's not the case. It is. It's different, and it's a great way for us to showcase not just the restaurants, but also the other businesses and organizations in the community, especially those that serve great food. I've had people tell me after visiting uh, the event that some of their favorite food was from one of the hospitals or um, one of the health care centers. So they do a really good job, and it's a good way to highlight those businesses, too. I mean, I... When I teach at Massasoit, I end up with culinary students in my class because I teach public speaking, and mm -hmm. everyone has to take speech comp. So I've had a few chefs in my classes, and a lot of work and training goes into them. It's not as simple as, you know, you're whipping up your eggs and your macaroni and cheese, which is about all I can make <laughs> from home ec in eighth grade, long time ago. But it, it, it's amazing. So um, you said a lot of returning restaurants and a couple of new ones. Any sure. new ones you want to highlight? Uh, sure. So we have a restaurant that's called Epicure. I believe it's a wine and jazz bar and restaurant in West Bridgewater. So mm -hmm. they're new this year. Uh, Corfino, which is, I believe, in Easton. They're mm -hmm. coming uh, into the event this year. They are new. Um, and then we have a lot of returning restaurants, too, like your JJ's and Petty's and um, a lot of uh, places that serve desserts and cakes and cookies, so it's not just your entrees and your apps. There's going to be some sweets there as well. Well, you can start with dessert and backtrack. You could, <laughs> you could do that. Is there a chocolate fountain there again? Do not you know? this year. No, not okay. This year. We've had that before. But plenty of sweets. Um, but plenty of sweets. Um, and obviously, um, there is plenty of parking because, unfortunately, one of the icon favorite restaurants in Brockton closed in Brockton. Christos, but there's Christos to go, which is in Whitman. And they will be there. They'll okay, be so there serving. So they'll have serving... the Greek salad probably. I don't know what they're serving yet. It's a surprise. We'll okay, see. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Surprises are good. And one restaurant that I happen to like in West Bridgewater, right on the West Bridgewater Brockton line, is Nikos. Mm -hmm. And they're Greek. They are, and they will be there as well. They were there, yes, um, last year for their first year, and they'll be there again. Frida's, I think, was Frida's on the list. Frida's will be there, yep. Okay. Um, I've been doing recruiting for you, too. I, there's a new restaurant in Brockton. I don't know if you have them there yet. There's a place called Thai Theory. It's a Thai restaurant that just opened up. Within, yes. They had a nice press article like two weeks ago. 
They, yes, I've heard of them, but they haven't signed up yet. And uh, I told them. But <laughs> I, I figured, believe that you did. I figured you were packed already. But, yeah. you, you know, if you want to be, that's the place to be. There were other competing events that were going to go on that week, and I think everybody stayed clear of that date. I know the mayor's doing his State of the City address on Friday the 24th, and one of the original dates he had on the list was the 22nd. I said, well, I don't want to say, sorry, Mayor, we can't cover your event, <laughs> but uh, okay, can you move? Can you have it on a different we, day? Because the mayor's always there. You, you got every, th this is like everybody goes to this event, and people come from all the surrounding towns. Your chamber area is a big area. So yeah, we're 18 come. different cities and towns, and we have probably between five to 700 people that come to this event every year. It's a huge event. So we like to see our members there, but also just members of the community, people that are out there buying tickets to come specifically to this event. High school kids there performing? Jazz band, yes. Jazz band from Brockton High School, so there. that's always a lot of fun. They are a huge draw. They do a great job every year, um, so they will be there. We also have a uh, saxophone quartet, and I believe at least one of the members was a um, previous faculty member over mm -hmm. at the high school music department, okay. so they'll be there. And then we have the African drum band from Bridgewater State University coming back. They were there last year, wow. uh, and they're a lot of fun. So there's always something new and different. There's stuff that's similar, but... We're, 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 we're strategizing right now on how to cover the event, okay? Because, you know, we have Jay who loves to have fun at that mm -hmm. event, okay? Matt is, Matt will go any place for food. I like it too. I'm the serious guy. I do the serious interviews. But I eat my way through. It's, it's great to work and eat your way through the whole thing, you know? Yeah. You have a microphone in one hand and, and a fork <laughs> in the other hand, basically. It's kind of fun. Now, not, a lot of the nonprofits are there, too, to talk about their programs. Um, Symphony, I, maybe? Yes, Boston the Boston Symphony. Symphony will be there. Um, I, I was looking at the list earlier this morning. Um, who else? So we have, as far as nonprofits go, there are a couple of different um, places. We have, I don't know if they're considered a nonprofit, but we have uh, Brockton Day Nursery will be there giving they're out some profit. information. Yep. Um, we have a couple of the schools, a couple of the um, healthcare facilities. Mm -hmm. So there's quite a few, and they'll be giving out some food, and some will just be distributing information about the community. I mean, like I said, everybody goes to this. This is, I think everything stops in Brockton on Taste of Metro. So I didn't realize it was the 25th year. I guess I didn't really. Is, is it right on there? Yeah, it says 25 years. Yeah, 25 Duh. years. Okay. So 25 years people have been coming to this event and, you know, wanting to see, you know, places that they love and then new places maybe they haven't been to before to give it a try and hopefully they become returning customers of those restaurants. Okay, so let's remind everybody one more time. It's at Massasoit Conference yes, Center. Yes, it is at okay, Massasoit so on Crescent Street. Don't go to the other place. That's okay. right. Crescent Street and in Brockton. Tickets one more time for the website. MetroSouthTaste.com. You can purchase your tickets, or you can come by the chamber offices at 60 School Street up until the morning of the 22nd to purchase your tickets. And don't wait, because if you wait, you might be out of luck. Yeah, we, we hope to be signing them at the door, but don't wait if you can help it. Perfect. Thanks for being back. Thank you so much for okay, having me. We're looking forward to it, always. We're looking forward to seeing you there, too. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.